and is based. Okay. and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Heather. If you have seen me before, then you already know that my name is Heather, so welcome back. I don't know if you can tell, but today we are back to filming on my phone because I'm currently having some technical difficulties with my camera and my SD card. I think I need to get a new SD card and I can't get it to work, so we're filming on the phone. The quality might be a bit worse than usual, but hey, at least the sound quality will be better because I know that the camera's sound quality is not the best. I need to get a mic, but that's a problem for another day. Anyways, for today's video, I'm just going to be doing a little Q&A because I haven't done one in a while and I just thought it might be nice to catch up with you guys, answer a few questions. So I asked you for questions on Instagram and you guys did not disappoint. So I'm going to be answering from there. Anyways, that is enough rambling from me. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first question is asking, how was your birthday? If you guys don't know, I just recently had a birthday on May 11th. I turned 20 and it was really, really nice. It was a great day. It was beautiful outside. I had a great time with my family. I was able to see my friends in a socially distanced manner in the morning as well, which was really special. And of course, celebrate with a lie on FaceTime. So it was overall very, very good. I enjoyed it a lot. The next question is asking, what is the most difficult thing about being in a long distance relationship? And as basic as this answer is, I feel like it's just being away from the person that you want to be closest to. Um, that's definitely what's the hardest part for Eli and I, especially during COVID with all the restrictions, it makes it even more difficult. And we do struggle with that on a daily basis. It's very, very hard. So I think that that, just not being able to be with your person is the hardest part. The next question is asking, what motivates you to work hard? And I'm struggling with how to answer this because I feel like just myself as a person, I've always been someone who is very determined and who just really wants to achieve my goals and work hard to do so. I think that one of my best qualities is that I'm a very, very hardworking person. So it just kind of comes naturally to me. So it's a bit difficult for me to answer this question, but I think one of the most important things is to focus on your, your end goal, where you want to get with whatever it is that you're working on. And I feel like that can be a huge motivator to sort of push you forward when things are difficult with what you're doing. The next question is, what is one piece of advice that you would give to your younger self? And I think that it would be to not take things so seriously. Like I said in the last question, I've always just been someone who's very driven and hardworking. And I feel like sometimes that takes away from me sort of having fun with life and enjoying myself a little bit because I'm so focused on, on doing what I need to do to get forward. But yeah, I think just have have a bit of fun with life. Um, don't take things too seriously and do what makes you happy because I think that that is the most important thing beyond anything else. You just need to live a life that makes you happy. The next question is how many kids do you want and have you thought of names? And yes, we have thought of names. Ali and I are hoping to have three kids, two we want to birth and one we would like to adopt but we will keep the names to ourselves but yes we do have names the next question is do you have any exciting plans coming up this summer and i actually do my family is getting a little puppy literally this week the day that you're seeing this video is the day that we're, we are getting her and we are very very excited um, it's gonna be really fun. It's been my dream for my entire life to have a dog. Never have had one before and we finally are getting one so I'm very excited. But yeah, I feel like that's my only really big plan for the summer. Other than that, I'm taking a couple of classes because, I don't know, just thought that would be a good idea. And just chilling. The next question is, do you plan on getting more tattoos? If you didn't see my last video, I got my second tattoo recently. And I think that in the future, I would like to get more tattoos. I don't have any specific ones planned out right now. And I'm not someone who wants tons and tons of tattoos, but maybe a couple more in the future. I don't know 100%, but we will see. 
The next question is how has your mental health been lately? And I feel like it's been pretty good. I have been struggling a little bit with um, the pandemic as I'm sure all of you are and just being away from Alaya. And I haven't really had too much to do lately because I finished my spring semester and my summer semester doesn't start for an another couple of weeks. So I've been struggling a little bit with that, but overall I feel like I've been doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. The next question is, when do you want to get married? And Eli and I are hoping to get married once we are both out of school. So not too, too far away, but still a few years because we both want to be finished with university and college before we take that step. The next question is, what is the best thing about being able to interact with fans? And I seriously don't know how to describe this to you guys because it is my favorite, favorite part of doing this whole YouTube thing is being able to talk to you. And I just have met so many incredible people when you guys message me and just having all these different conversations with you guys and being able to help you guys and just talk about fun, silly things with you guys is just the best thing in the whole world. Seriously, my favorite, favorite part of this whole thing. So keep on messaging me and commenting because it makes my whole day. The next question is how was the last semester in school for you and are you excited for next year? It was pretty good. I feel like I've gotten the hang of the whole online school thing since I've been doing it for about a year for the whole pandemic. And the last semester was pretty good, quite busy, but I was able to push through and I'm happy to have sort of a little break. And I'm very excited for next year. I'm hoping that things will be getting a little bit back to normal and hopefully I'll be on campus a bit more and it won't be completely online. That's what I'm hoping for, but we'll see. Um, but yes, I am excited. The next question is, do you still sometimes feel insecure about your sexuality? And yes, 100%. Even though I've been out for a few years now, there are still times where I do feel insecure about it. I'm a very shy and private person. And so sometimes it's nerve wracking in situations where I have to come out or tell someone new about my sexuality because, you know, you never know what could happen and it's completely normal to feel insecure about it, but I definitely think that I have gotten a lot better and I will continue to become more comfortable with myself because that's just what happens. And overall, I think I'm in a very good place. I'm very confident in who I am and my sexuality. And though I get insecure sometimes, it doesn't overrun my life, if that makes sense. The next question is, what was your first reaction when you found out that you had diabetes? If you guys don't know, I have type 1 diabetes and I definitely cried a lot. Um, I spent about five-ish days in the hospital and a lot of that was just a lot of being upset and confused and it was quite overwhelming because there's so much that you have to learn and it was just like information was piling up on me and I was just, I was quite overwhelmed, but over time I adapted as anyone does with anything. And now, yeah, diabetes sucks sometimes, but you know what, it's part of me, it's made me a stronger person and it's manageable. So I'm all good with it. The next question is how do you build up the courage to come out to friends and family? And this is definitely a process. And something that I think I've said a few times is that I never felt 100% ready. Like there was never a time where I was like, yes, like this is it, this is the time. Because it's so, such a nerve wracking experience. I was always sort of like, am I ready? But I think I just got to a point where it was getting uncomfortable living with this secret, I guess, and not being able to tell anyone. And at that point, I just, I felt like it was causing me more damage to keep it in than to tell them. And I feel like that's when I sort of built up that courage and was able to tell them. The next question is, what should you do if you're feeling isolated in your friend group because you're the only queer person? And I think that this is a reality for lots and lots of LGBTQ plus kids because often there isn't anyone else in your friend group who is part of the community and that can feel really isolating and scary. I was lucky enough to have a friend in my immediate friend group who is also part of the community, so that was really helpful for me. But I think that it's important to be open with your friends about this and sort of 
explain to them that you're kind of feeling isolated and feeling this way and hopefully if they're good friends they will listen to you and sort of allow you to open up about your experience more and talk to them about these kinds of things and along with that I think it could also be really helpful to make some friends in the LGBTQ plus community online. I feel like that's a huge thing nowadays if you can't make these friends in real life trying to find certain groups online or support groups and chats and all that kind of stuff that can be really helpful because I do completely understand wanting to talk to somebody else in the LGBTQ plus community um, and not just a bunch of straight friends which is totally understandable but yeah just reaching out to people online and making friends that way can also be really helpful I am always here to listen. If you would like to chat, you can always shoot me a message. The next question is, what is your university major? I am majoring in psychology. I'm doing a Bachelor of Arts in psychology at the moment, just about to go into my third year, which is a little bit terrifying, but yes. The next question is, what is your favorite memory with Aliyah? And this one is also really difficult for me because there are so many good ones and I feel like every single memory with her is an amazing one. One of my favorites is definitely the fact that we got to go to my prom together. I never imagined that I would get to go to prom with her because we're long distance, but she was able to come out and we were able to go. And that was seriously such an incredible experience and it made it so much more amazing than it would have been without her there. So that's definitely one of my favorites. Okay, and the final question that I will finish it off with it's an ode to my queen, Taylor Swift, and it is, what is your favorite Taylor Swift album and era? And this is such a hard question for me. I talked about this on my Instagram stories a few weeks, months ago, um, because I seriously don't know because every one of them is so good, but for a different reason. So it is very difficult for me. But after much consideration, I believe that my favorite album is either Speak Now or Reputation. But again, all of them are so good, so it's very hard. And my favorite era... And I think my favorite era would be Lover era because Taylor was just... It was just such a happy era for her and I just loved that energy I wish we got it for a little longer obviously I was very happy when Folklore and Evermore came out but yeah Lover era was top tier all right so those are all of the questions that I will be answering today hopefully you were able to catch up with me a little bit get to know a little bit more about me if you're just coming across this channel and as always, if you guys have any other video requests, you can go ahead and leave those down below because I like to make videos that you guys want to see. And thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope that you all enjoyed and I will see you next week for another one. Bye guys.